An old man, grey of hair and beard, is next in the line of supplicants. Who are you, my good man? Artia asks. My sultan. I am Khalid, an elder of the village of Esbet Nahul. But I ask you to let me speak freely before you. Artia nodded his assent. I am ever ready to hear the wisdom of the elders of my lands. Speak freely and without fear. My sultan, when Unkid declared himself divine, he offended against the teachings of Asura, and we were most disquieted. You bravely stood against him, and Asura has blessed your arms. We waited for you to come and free us from Unkid's yoke, and eventually, you came. Those of us young enough came forward to take up sword and spear and bow for you. One of my sons and three of my grandsons have died fighting for you. Others march under your banners still. He nodded gravely after Partia thanked him for his sacrifices. They died to free our lands of Unkid's tyranny and blasphemy. What I would speak to you of, though, is how your land bleeds. The followers of Unkid raid us constantly, killing our militia or carrying them away in chains, carrying off our valuables. Some of the lords control their men and do not let them molest us. Others, though... And the mercenaries especially hold knives to our children's throats to force what few dinars we have from us. They abuse our young women as they will. We know some of your captains hunt them. We have seen their companies ride past tired, dust-covered men from many lands. We cheer them and pray that Asura gives them victory. Still, though, the raiders come. I am most grieved by what you say, Khalid. My enemies have grown monstrous in their crimes. What would you have of me? Would you have me put a company of professional warriors in your village? I know little of the great strategy of war other than what I saw carrying a shield and spear in my youth in wars fought before you were born. I do know that dispersing an army is not a sound strategy. What I have come into your presence to ask is that you form your army into a mailed fist and strike swift blows, driving these curs from our lands so we may once again know peace. The old man smiled. Well, peace save for the bands of broken men and the desert nomads. Those enemies we have fought for generation after generation, though, and we know how to resist them. Yes, I have no doubt you do, Partia smiled grimly. The war had left many tasks unfulfilled in the desert, such as dispersing those bands. Khalid, you have spoken of those lords who serve Unkid, who have not lost their honor. I would have them join my banner, so that my armies may grow strong enough to free our brothers and sisters of the north from the yoke of the Khuzate. That is why I have moved slowly, seeking opportunities to speak with them, to show them the wisdom of joining their strength to mine. My Sultan, we, we know this. We long to hear that our people in Hassan Falk have been freed from bondage. We know that you will need great armies to accomplish it. We urge you, though, to end this war with victory as soon as possible. We urge you to drive these raiders away from our villages. If you speak to those lords afterwards and they accept your peace, should they ride past our village flying your banner, we will sell them bread and let them drink at our wells rather than give them the arrows and spear points they deserve. We urge you, though, to give them but one chance. If they will not accept your peace, we counsel you to name them Wolf's Heads, who any man may kill on sight if they ride into our lands again. This is the council I was sent here to speak to you. I thank you for hearing it. Artia sat silent for a time regarding the old man, and then spoke. I thank you for your counsel, Khalid of Esbet Nahul. I will think long and hard on it. Peace be with you. Hey everybody, it's Party Lead. Welcome you back to another chapter of the Adventures of Partia al eat in Bannalore. The war against the Khuzate has seen some success. The Horse Lords have not yet been able to respond to Ashkasi aggression, but even so, as Partia al eat marches past Hobyar and through the lands of Malul, he has only the words of the Elders from across his lands in his mind. Sultan, please, they would beg of him, bring an end to the raiding, the pillaging, and the ravaging. And so Partia must ponder. Have these remaining Asurai nobles lost all sense of decorum and duty? Have they lost all sense of what is wrong and what is right? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bannerlord.
It is something to think about, isn't it? For how long will Partia Al-It allow all of these nobles to go ravaging his lands, you know, taking not just resources, but people and having their way? How long will he allow that to happen and excuse its happening? Sure, they might be following orders from Unkid, but at one point, you have to really consider uh, their unwillingness to join us as perhaps an affront to the people themselves. It's something to think about. How many more opportunities will we give them to uh, deny our olive branch? To deny the opportunity to join us? Nonetheless, as we think about it, we will return to Hubyar once more. Many of you pointed out it might be worth investigating if there's a conversation to be had over here before a uh, party forms. It might be that uh, Ruma is waiting to form a party and so resting at Hubyar. And if that's the case, then wonderful. We can try and have a conversation with her. And if that's not the case, then wonderful. We'll take Hubyar for ourselves. We'll also, I think, bring in more of our forces to further strengthen our army. Traveling around with just, uh, you know, how many strong? 400 or so strong. Seems a little dangerous, especially since as the war with the Kuzate goes on and on, uh, they're eventually and inevitably going to send an army down south. And we want to make sure we don't get caught, as I like to say, with our pants down. So, Ottawa, Najin, and Dorian as well. And all join me. I'm actually tempted to let Dorian roam free still. Yeah, I think, okay, let, let's go, go ahead and get these guys to join me. Uh, everyone else can still roam free and do their duty. Again, try and chase off some of these, you know, loose raiders that come through the lands every once in a while. And with this army, I think we should feel relatively confident, even if the Kuzate come through with uh, something sizable. Hopefully, in a worst-case scenario, we'll be able to pull back, retreat, and stay safe, and, and regroup with the rest of our forces as well. But it is very good to see, again, that this has a scroll bar, though a large part of it is because of the uh, lake rats, I'm sure. We've got one, two... Oh, you know, actually, the lake rats are only a small part of our entire force. So that's, uh, that does feel quite good. That, that does feel quite good. Okay. <laughs> Back to Hobiar, though. Let's see if we can't get some, uh, if we can't extract some more good feelings from whatever happens over here. Make our way over as quickly as possible. Alia continues to improve her scouting. Who left my party? Or did it say someone joined my party? Well, I keep forgetting I can hit enter. Ottawa has arrived. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Dorian has enlisted. Yeah, all that we know. This is all good. This is all good. And Thalas was ransomed. Okay, fair enough. Onwards to Hubyar. Uh, the, the, many of you have said that it's possible that Hubyar is just kind of like... Um, rather, sorry, that Ruma is just resting over here. So we should try and approach the gates and hail the guard and request a meeting with someone. No. <laughs> request a meeting with our own people. That's kind of funny. Nah, forget it. Alright, well, if no one is here to meet with... Uh, and their defenders are only 470 strong, at the risk of offending Banu Kild. Let me just check here, just to make sure Banu Kild is, yeah, the one with Ruma in charge. You know what? Gotta, gotta break a few hearts, I suppose, right? Remember, again, Kalatil joined us despite our relations being at negative 50. So, Ruma might still join us despite us taking Hobyar from her. Go ahead and besiege the town. Now, a lot, of, uh, a lot of armies over here, as we can see. I do wonder if we shouldn't... Uh, maybe we should have actually focused on them first. Oh, I see. They're trying to engage the lake rats up over here, I think. Raiding. They really shouldn't be. I, I wish I could tell them not to raid or something, but you can't. <laughs> Unfortunately. Now, let's get these trebs prepared first, and of course, followed by the battering ram as well. Down over here, Aldhan is chasing after some looters. Far more important things up over here, but that might be a little risky. I uh, don't quite remember just how many soldiers we saw up over here. Might be a little risky. The other thing as well is, when we have these smaller armies roaming around, they become targets for um, Asurai mercenaries. And so just like our mercenaries are staying with us because they have a constant supply of targets, I feel like Asurai mercenaries are staying with them because they have a constant supply of targets. Anyway, uh, we are now building the Trebs. Yes, let's go ahead and pick up the pace a little bit. I could actually pull Aldhan in, but is it really necessary? He's right here. I don't think it's necessary. Watch, I'm gonna I'm gonna eat those words. Batania and Valandia have made peace. That might be a bit of a problem for us. We'll keep an eye out for it. 
Relations continue to decrease with Ostikos. Sure, whatever. Troyan is improving his engineering skills. Good stuff. Oh, move you to reserve. Nice. <laughs> Just in time. We actually got a rock off there. That's hilarious. Orion continues to improve his stewardship as well. Good stuff, good stuff. Our daily goal change is still in the negatives, which is, you know, a bit of a problem. But every once in a while, if we get a couple of uh, orders, then that's not bad. I did say Usank was under attack, right? Was being besieged. And actually, that reminds me of something. Right, there we go. Sorry for that edit there, but it's been pointed out to me a couple of times that I can actually turn on uh, notific the, the side notifications that I've been mentioning haven't been showing up lately. Uh, ever since a, a recent-ish patch, um, they were by default turned off, so we had to turn them back on. Zutir of the Lake Rats of the Ishkas has been taken prisoner by Katagan of the Wolfskins of the Aserite. That's not good. We can't lose numbers like that. Um, but yeah, so I just uh, took a moment there to turn those back on. It's been mentioned to me before, but I keep, it keeps slipping my mind. And it was literally mentioned in the comments of the last session as well, which I read just before sitting down to record, and it still slipped my mind. I even wrote down a note, and it still slipped my mind. This stuff happens from time to time. Um, you know, get, getting really into like into the readings and whatnot. Harith of the Asteroid has been taken prisoner. Amazing. Well done, Lorik. Uh, but yes, that setting is now fixed, so hopefully we'll be able to keep on top of uh, the happenings around these parts. All right, there's the uh, last one. Ruma, of course she's here now. Of course! After all the trebs are done. If we're lucky... Oh my god, this is painful. See, here's the reality. If we, if we leave the siege, our speed will take a huge hit because we'll be disorganized. So we're not going to be able to catch her with her small party here. <laughs> what are the chances? All we can hope for is a little bit of luck. That she decides to stay here in the hopes of re uh, like relieving the siege. That once we take the city, we can immediately pop out. We'll still be disorganized, but then we can work to try to you know, corner her into a, a like against the coast or into a little pocket or somewhere where we can speak to her. My god, what are the chances? Honestly, what are the chances? Very high, apparently. Oh, looks like we took a bad hit over here, actually. Not the end of the world. Oh, man. <laughs> we reserve. There we go. We're okay. Pop it back out. There we go. Ruma, stay here. Don't go too far away. Don't go too far away. We'll get this done with quickly here. And they have some decent numbers, so we should be a little concerned, at least, I would say. I wouldn't mind dropping it to, you know, sub 300, but that'll take a long time. I don't think we have that kind of patience. Don't think we have that kind of patience. It's also been suggested that I actually don't take Hubiar for myself, that I actually give it to somebody else um, so that they're able to build up its defenses, its garrison, and all that. And I, part of me really doesn't disagree with that line of thinking at all. The Batania and the Western Empire have gone to war. Interesting stuff. But yeah, part of me really, really leans in that direction as well because I cannot, as much as holding Hubiar for myself would make me money. Um, it would also cost me because, of course, I have to pay for the garrisons and all that, right? Eric of the Ishkas has escaped from captivity. Excellent. Good stuff, good stuff. Down to 430. Good numbers over here. Akadana of the Karakurgit of the Asura has been taken prisoner by looters. Why would you show that to me in red? <laughs> Why would you show that to me in red? Show it in green. I should be happy about that. It's Lorik. I think um, if this trap breaks, we'll replace it with a ballista instead. If they manage to break it, which they might be able to. Maybe. There's that catapult getting finished over here. Yeah, there it goes. Let's go with a fire ballista. Or rather, hmm. Yeah, let's go with a fire ballista. Sure. And our uh, other armies, or rather our other parties, seem to be working quite well. In fact, let's take a quick look over here. Yeah, these are, these are sizable forces. These are sizable forces, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Right, let's keep the work going over here. Both of these walls will collapse basically back to back in quick succession, which is promising. And I think, yeah, maybe we do give uh, Hopiar to somebody else. The Karakurgit, Wolfskins, Wahan, all taken prisoner. Well done. Must have been a big battle over here. Red by, red by, led by, sorry, Lorik. Good stuff. Good stuff. One set of walls cracked over here. For a second set of walls, please. This we might actually lose this ballista by the time these walls break. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Catapult's been cracked. Excellent. 
Okay. Oh no. Caravan of Atis the Falcon was attacked. Please, buddy, stay out there. Survive. I need you to survive. I need you to survive. Um, can invest in new caravans constantly, you know? And with his high tactics, I would expect him to do better. He's improved his medicine. That's all I can see so far. Well, nonetheless, both walls cracked. No artillery to defend Hubiar. It is nighttime as well, so the fire ballista will look cool. Largely militia, which we should concern ourselves with. We are full health, though, so even if we become a pin cushion, we might be all right. Um, the garrison over here. Tribesmen, recruits. Mostly low tier. Our soldiers shouldn't struggle at all. Let's make sure our party is properly leveled up and any prisoners that are willing to join in this battle... Uh, are able to, by which I mean we recruit them. Upgrade you guys. Yeah, there we go. Good stuff. Lots of good stuff over here. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And just as a reminder, I think we are at our limit, at our troop limit, but we are about to dive into a battle. Ah, we're actually just one short of our troop limit. Look at all these prisoners willing to join us. Look at the prisoners we actually have with us as well. Wonderful. We, we take Hobiar and we ransom them off right away works perfectly. Go ahead and get all of you lot to join in. They have proven that they are willing to die for the liberation of the Asari. So, we will free them of their bonds. Kind of hesitant to recruit the Ferris. Chances are we're going to lose him. Knowing my luck especially. We'll leave him as a prisoner for now. It's for his own good. Would have, wouldn't have minded to do that. Do the same with our other cavalry, but, but uh, the Ferris for sure. All right, good stuff. Done here. Fine, being over our limit. Go ahead and check our inventory as well. Want to make sure we're properly set up. We are not. Got to get that executioner's axe up in here. Good stuff. Now oh, there's a typo in here. It was pointed out to me a couple sessions ago, but I missed it earlier. Uh, yeah, the mer, the mercant's blades. Typo doesn't matter, still worth a lot. All right, cool. Do we actually have any more of the... Yes, we do. A lot of these Banes left as well. Might be a good conversational, like a good barter piece as well. It was pointed out to me, like, not a lot of villages can afford these, but some nobles, you know, convincing nobles with these because we can't sell them is a viable use of, uh, of expensive equipment, as I've been thinking. Even though we don't get the same numerical value, in a desperate situation, it could be, you know, valuable in that sense. Anyway. We're equipped over here. Let's dive on in to lead the assault against Hobiar. Ruma, if you just joined us sooner. If you just joined us sooner. But no, she had to ride out with a small party in the hopes of uh, having an effect on this war, right? All right, let's go ahead and auto-deploy. And I do believe we can get rid of most of these guys. You know what, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of you. And you... Where is the other breach? Oh, up over here? Oh, you know what, actually, in that case, I might keep the ballista up over here. Might get some shots in there. Go ahead and get rid of... ...you, though. And put this far one back. I was initially going to put the ballista up over there. The ballista is typically okay at taking out troops, but we'll, we'll see what value it gives us today. Um, I might actually dive in up this way. Try and get up in there and, and shut down any ranged... Units. I don't know about going up this way. I don't know which way would be the ideal path to take. I do hope the screen is bright enough. Uh, I will take a look at maybe doing some post work if necessary. Where are we anyway? We are probably all the way back over here or something, right? Nonetheless, I think we're good to begin the assault. Let's go. Let's go left. Oh, perfect. Go oh, faster. Get that axe out. I love that animation of pulling the axe out. There's something so, like, visceral about it. Everyone's marching up. Hopefully we'll get the first kill over here. By we, I just mean our army, not necessarily I. Well, look at this. These guys aren't even, like, at the walls here. Interesting choice. Oh, wow, I think I actually did get the first kill. Men are coming up. Yeah, these guys do not stand a chance. They're just standing here willing to die. Come on. There we go. Job done here. Try and minimize our losses. We want to make sure we minimize our loss of momentum as well, right? And the loss of life, obviously, that's also important. Perhaps one of the few lords that actually cares. Come on now. Keep going over here. 
Taking a couple losses. There are some archers up top, we can see. It looks like our reinforcements from the other side have arrived. How can we get up there, though, is the question. How can I shut those archers down? These defenders have been pushed back. Uh, looks like we have to go up through there. The gatehouse over here. Down goes this fool. Looks like these guys are actually engaging. It is too dark even for me to see. Jeez. <laughs> go, man. Let's go. We're going to end to this fighting. They're taking a lot of losses. Like an unreasonable number of losses. Oh. Like, especially considering the soldiers that we're up against. Something must have happened. Must have been like a... Bottleneck or something somewhere. Hey, good stuff, good stuff. I don't think we've lost uh, any nobles yet. A couple of deaths, lots of... Um, we're not going to be able to get up over there. Lots of uh, wounds, I saw. Look at that. That's actually quite a few of them. I mean, again, they, they did have decent numbers. They did have decent numbers. Some javelins being tossed up over there, fair enough. And we get up there. Is there another way up there? Look at all these bodies. Definitely not going up from over here. Oh, we can try, like, a back uh, path over here. I doubt I'll even be able to get there before the battling is done. So slow we are. Ah, Sega got dropped by a mercenary uh, guard. I'm willing to say that's the one mercenary guard that got a handful of kills over there. Let's go, let's go. Again, she only got injured, though. Fear not, she's not dead. Still trying to push up over there. Yeah, we're not able to get anywhere near those walls from back over here. That's all people retreating, so nothing to worry about there. Just a matter of somebody want, like having to break through. No one's pushing up from this right side. There's got to be a reason for that. A couple of losses now. Not ideal. <laughs> Good job, man. All of you swarm to one side. Why not? Going to push up this way. If we can't... Uh, yep. Provide some relief. Put it that way. Here we go. Come on now. Oof, gonna take some hits over here as well as they turn around and pay attention to me. Am I gonna drop dead is the question. I might, actually. Sword and shield. Hopefully our men were able to push a little bit. It's so, like, red and dark in here. Good mood lighting. Good mood lighting. Yeah, this is definitely where our soldiers got stuck. Really silly, actually, they didn't also come up from the other side. But hopefully by me pulling these men back a little bit, our men will be able to swarm up the stairs. Rather than stay stuck at the bottom. We're actually going to drop soon. Almost certainly. Down, pull down. Keep going, keep going. Okay, let's keep going, keep going. Alright, are these guys going to fall back or are they going to follow me? No, fall back. This is hilarious. Just a complete deadlock. Oh. Less, less hilarious, less hilarious. Come on now. Come on now. These guys are all well armored as well and everything. Ah, down I go. Not surprised. <laughs> kind of bit off more than uh, than I could chew there. But this is this is a joke. I can't believe they're all just kind of piling on over here. That's silly. More ways than one. Taking pointless losses. There's this other side completely open. Go ahead and and pick up the pace over here. I don't know how long I can wait and watch this happen. There we go. Finally, 58 losses is not all that bad. 69 wounded is not all that bad either. 117 ranked up. That's pretty good. So overall, I would say that was a decent fight. A bit of, you know, renown and influence and all that as well. But overall, I would say that was a good fight. And it seems as though none of the nobles fell either. So, also very promising. I was very worried I was going to miss something. Oh, there was a bit of purple. And now I can't open this again. Why not? Why not, game? Alright, who died? Not Najin. Uh, how about in my party, no one, not you, not me. I mean, I fell, but I didn't die. Where's Alia? She's fine as well. Okay, good stuff. Ferdinand is also okay. 
Orion is fine. I oh, know I can't I can't pull this menu up by pressing enter. Calatild, you're also okay. Arwa, oh god. Arwa is okay. That looks like we're fine. Maybe someone on their side. They have no nobles on their side though. Mm, I guess we're done. Must have been something else, maybe a kind of damage that was dealt or something. Plundered a little bit of gold, not all that much. Uh yeah, looks like we're all intact over here. That's good. Three troops, militia, we can drop off, sure. And a bunch of prisoners, we can pick all of them up as well. Again, we can we're 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 in a city, so we can ransom them off and everything, right? Doesn't matter for over our limit. Done, all good. Pick up all the loot as well, of course. Yes, done. Into the city we go. Ruma is right out over here. Right outside. So, how do we handle this right now? Arena's closed at night, fair enough. Uh, Tavern District, go ahead and recruit these mercenary swordsmen over to the town. A pretty solid town overall. Food is a bit of a problem, but it's been under siege. It's been surrounded by enemies and stuff like that. Like, our soldiers have been in the area scaring off any traitors. And when I say our soldiers, I mean, you know, Ashkasi soldiers. So this will hopefully fix itself. It's got a bit of a runway, which is promising. Um, <laughs> security's a bit of a problem. I mean, it's it's been at the front of a war. So everything's a bit of a problem. The tax, though. Maybe I should hold on to this myself. Maybe I should hold on to this myself. I don't know. Militia's growing slowly but surely. Let's go ahead and go to the keep, manage the garrison, and drop off what? Well, the militia for sure. Lots of leveling up as well available. Okay. Militia, militia, militia. Go ahead and drop off. I feel like dropping off some of these, like, singular unit types as well. Valandian infantry. Valandian recruit. Hardened crossbow. Older Brotva. He's a veteran, though. Really want to just drop off a veteran like that? Mamluk soldier. I, <laughs> it becomes so difficult. It's like, well, no, actually, I would like the Mamluk heavy cavalry, though. Um, don't want to leave any cavalry behind, obviously. Upgrade some of you as well. Arami, I suppose, to get down to the Vanguard Ferris. Yep. Down over here, sure. The veteran skirmisher. The two Imperial infantrymen. Sure. How about the Imperial trained archers? They're gonna split as well, aren't they? Like, not having any garrison this far up front is a terrible idea, obviously. Because it marks me. Sure, you know what? You served me well, I'm gonna leave you behind, though. We're going to be at the front right now, so it doesn't have to be the strongest garrison. Eventually, when we have peace with the Asarai, we might want to spend some time going back to our overly secured uh, central settlements like Taras and whatnot, and bringing some of that garrison over here instead. Um, you know, in case the Kuzate come through and, and force us to have to defend these areas. Go ahead and get some more upgrades done, though. Sure, let's leave you behind. Italian hero, though, becomes the Fian, so I want to keep them. Because eight footmen, you know what? You know what? I'm just gonna leave you behind. Here, lighten our uh, our load a little bit. Yep, that seems reasonable to me. A garrison of 48 plus the militia as it grows. Hopefully, it'll do something. And again, we are in the area as well, right? So done here. Over to not the dungeon, but the tavern district. Choose prisoners to be ransomed. Now, we make some money. First of all, you are willing to join us, so that's excellent. Down over here. Bazid, not worth a lot. Okai, worth a fair bit more. And Epis, not worth too much either, but still, money is money. Puppeteer, Chosen Wolf, all these, you know, tier fives obviously will be dropping off over here. No reason not to. Got one more of you. Master Archer's got five of you. All these militia. Again, eventually they become worth something, but how long am I willing to wait, I guess, is the question. We are over our limit as well. You know what, let's dump them. Slowing us down, that's all they're doing. Fair bit of money made, actually. What else do I want to drop off? I mean, that is a fair bit of money made. Astro recruits. Tribesmen, sure. Every little bit counts. Plus, again, the speed consideration, right? Yeah, I think that's good enough. Sure, I think that's good enough. A little bit of money. Not, 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 not like, it's not going to change the world, but... A little bit of money. Done, sure. Ransom those guys off, maybe they'll uh, 
no, we'll be able to talk to one of them sooner rather than later. We can trade over here as well, see if we can't sell some of our goods. Yes, we can. Are we able to sell the uh, merchants, the mercants blades over here? No, cannot. Whoa, that was a mistake. Whoa. <laughs> what? I think, yeah, let's go ahead and pick up no fancy horses or anything. That's unfortunate. 29,000 is what they have. Are we able to sell any of our drone weapons? Okay, not a problem, not a problem. We have plenty of junk to sell. We'll just do that instead. Gotta get rid of all this junk. Can't go around carrying all of it. Make that money and then eventually, you know, we'll be able to maybe use the merchant's blades and banes to uh, convince people to join us instead. Perhaps that is their destiny, to be used as gifts. Made worth less than they're actually worth, but... Uh, Changing the hearts of men and women alike, convincing them to join us in battle, in war even. All of this junk off. There is so much of it. Endless stream. For a thing, none of this seems worthwhile or impressive or important. You know, actually that reminds me, I did forget to do something earlier, which is reassign um, our new surgeon to an appropriate formation i didn't i don't think i've done that and i think that's uh causing him some trouble on the battlefield which is on me obviously okay more junk over here lots of these helmets these days i remember when we used to think these helmets were like oh it's such a rare find i'm so glad we got one and picked one up and now we have a good helmet and now it's just like oh yeah they're a dime a dozen rusty emir's helmet Ooh. Not worth that much. Can we actually buy anything here, though? Now, food. I don't know if I want to buy too much food over here. Buy a lot of hides, though. Maybe sell them somewhere else. They are dirt cheap over here, apparently. Nice. Linen as well. Apparently dirt cheap over here. Really? Weird. Okay. And sell it Sanala for a decent price, apparently. Trader at heart, still. A trader at heart. But what can I buy, if anything? They have no horses. We already checked that. Go ahead and sell them something. And then be, be done with this, uh, place. Um, maybe nothing. We don't have to, we don't have to zero them out. Maybe nothing. No, let's leave it be. I say as I find some of these weapons that we'll never do anything with. There. Call them a bunch of these. Call it a day there. Done. Done. Moving on. We're gonna leave could disband the army. The only person who we'd have to spend influence to get is Alatild. Ruma is moving at a speed of 4.2. Hmm. Prisoners. I should have just dumped them all in the uh, the dungeon over here to chase Ruma. I, I think our only hope with Ruma, even still, is going to be trying to like get her into a pocket over here or something. Let's go ahead and disband the army. The problem is that these guys will probably chase her as well. Not much I can do about that. Maybe uh, Ganiminos will Ganiminos will will distract them or something. But actually, before I forget, before I get distracted, um, Geroth Gerothion Gerothion Gerothion. <laughs> I'll learn it eventually. You should be with our horse archers. That's the thing. He was with our infantry, which is why I don't think he was performing as well as he could. Now, and we chase Ruma running from Partia's party. For how long, Ruma? For how long? Go. Let's see if we can't. Again, these guys are all... Calatild worries me. Leaving Calatild to her own devices worries me. Attis has been taken prisoner by Kanojan of the Kuzait. <sighs> that's reasonable. He was up against a whole army, potentially. That's, that's fair. You can't really blame him for that. That's our war taking its toll upon the merchants. Okay, Ruma... Okay. I need to be like on point here. Is Ruma still worth speaking to? So that's a question many of us are wondering. Anu killed Ruma and Manan clan tier 5. I would say yes. Is she willing to potentially join us for the amount of money or resource or, or goods we have? Who knows? Only one way to find out. Okay. We've got her squarely locked away over here though. Don't think there's... Oh, is there a way out? No, I don't think so. Please let this conversation work. Please. 
I beg of you, game. Over here has created an army. Good stuff. And you can see our notifications over here now. Again, thanks for pointing that out. Okay. Oh, please, please. Partia. It's been a while, she says. It has, hasn't it, Ruma? I hear you took Hobiar. I did, and I'm sorry if you'd arrived just a little bit sooner. She's honest, so honor and uh, generosity, not so much. Honor matters to her, though. There's something I'd like to discuss. Your liege is not worth your loyalty. What are you taking for, a plotter? Whatever you suggest would best be honorable. This is of the utmost honor. Okay. You are known as a man of honor. We know me as one as well. I feel like the uh, rate of success, success chance is so low because uh, she's clearly a woman of honor. Uh, but I think it's actually because our relations are so low. All right, nonetheless, come on, baby, please. No, there's no chance. It's not gonna, we're not gonna succeed. We're not going to succeed. You have an oath to your liege? Yeah, have you ever violated his oath? Cool. That's that conversation done with. Unkeed's your friend. Good for you. <laughs> really failing all of these roles here. And why change sides now? I'm generous to those who came to me early. Perhaps not as generous as to those who came late. Oh, <laughs> wow. The threat worked. But not good enough. Yes, I am correct, Ruma. Be gone. We're at war. Surrender or die. She would rather raid our lands, send the troops. Expect to see success. Wonderful. I yield. Grant me the honors of war and do yourself credit. You're my prisoner now. I'll get from you what I can. If it's not loyalty, then it'll be wealth. Fourteen more prisoners to pick up. Yeah, I mean, we're headed to a, um, a city anyway. To her former city. Pick up all the loot as well make our way over. How am I, like, not surprised that that's how that went down? You know what I mean? Didn't even get a chance to get to the conversation point. All of these people over here. Atis has escaped. Well, we can send him out on a caravan again. Sure, I think we'll do that. Might as well, right? We need, we need that money generation to happen. We need that financial generation. Also, you can see the tribute payments have dropped down significantly. Um, hold on, but before I get too distracted, over to Hubiar, sign governor. Atis, Atis, Atis. Oh, am I not able to? Or does he have to arrive somewhere first? Uh, let's see. Members. Atis the Falcon. Holding. Why don't you, uh, stop holding and come over here instead? I'm not blind, right? Partia, Alia, Arwa, Najun, Dorian, Leotold, Anjikin, Fridina, Siga, Gerothion, and Nun. Hey, I guess maybe we just have to wait a little while. Nonetheless, we have to head to Hobiar anyway. Make our way over. Over to the tavern, over to Ransom. Ruma. A little bit of money made. Can't believe it. <laughs> can't believe it. The endless cycle, right? The endless cycle. Uh, we're okay in terms of troop count. Yes, we are. Anybody else I want to drop off over here? We have... I thought we got at least one tier 5 prisoner. I guess I was mistaken. Alright, we're done here then. Oh no, there we go. The Master Archer. Two of them. I knew I saw it. I knew I saw the symbol. Alright, done here. Take what money I can. Um, I'm kind of tempted to chase down some of these armies over here. Stop them from harassing us like this. What I know I want to do, though is get Halatild back over here. I regroup with Arwa and Najin as well. Okay, Peric is uh, raising his soldiers as well now. And there's the other army that is formed too, which again, I have no issue with, as long as they're, they're headed in the right direction. Take a look at uh, our armies here. Gathering near Jamaye. Well, we don't yet know where they're going to you know, head afterwards, but we'll keep an eye out. Keep an eye out. Together, if we roll out together, we can actually get a lot of work done. I'm pleased to see Tovir taking the lead again. Hopefully he doesn't lose this army like he's done once before. Peace with the Asrai will give us a tribute. Peace with the Kuzait will give them a tribute, but significantly smaller than the one we were paying previously. Northern Empire, we'd be paying a tribute as well. Still absolutely ridiculous to me. Honestly, I almost would prefer if one of our armies chases after the Northern Empire's fools and drives this tribute down, if not reverses it. That would be ideal. But again, we cannot give orders to our armies, unfortunately. 
so that's not an option. Chasing these guys down would be probably a pointless endeavor, because they'll just get away from me, they're too fa fast. I say we ride on towards Sahel Castle. Najun has arrived, I mean these guys, they might attack. Got a handful of defenders, I mean 50 defenders isn't all that much, but if it gets put under siege, we are nearby, right? We are nearby. Move up to Dare Hawa over here. Lorek taking a couple of risks down over here. My hope was that Najin would get some recruits. Which is exactly what happened. Let's see if we can't shepherd these guys a little bit. Owner of Hubiar. Hubiar, where are you? Wow, that is a that is a fair sum of money. But don't forget to subtract the garrison's cost, right? OBR is making us 1188, let's say 1200 for posterity. The garrison wages is, let's say, 200 for easy math. So it's actually making us just 1000. Now that's, that's no number to scoff at, obviously. No number to scoff at. Maybe we hold on to it. Oof. Yeah, I think we should at least hold on to it. At least hold on to cities, sorry, I meant to say. The castles... 340, 500, 400, 420. Sargot is not a very profitable city, is it? Sargot's actually our least profitable city, it seems like, in terms of taxes. Obiar is far more worth it. Wow, okay, interesting. Okay, well, we, we hold on to it for ourselves then. But let's see first if we can't... Oh, hello. Alas, up over here, pushing in with an army. Where do you think you're going? What do you think I'm going to allow you to do over here? Let's push. Help them down. Come on now. There we go. Help Lorex. Well, first of all, let's change our equipment. Want to make sure we've got our... Heavy Valandian Lance. Where are you, Valandian Lance? Not near H. Where I'd expect it to be. As you can see. But maybe it's near V. U V. Valandian Lance, a Valandian Heavy Lance, that's why. Because it's not heavy Valandian Lance, it's a Valandian Heavy Lance. I gotta like remember that. <laughs> Go ahead and help the party over here, of course. We'll just send the troops in. I'm actually not healthy enough to fight. But send the troops, maybe help our tactics a little bit. Take a couple of losses, a couple of level ups. Still gonna be involved though. Good stuff. He will likely say thank you. Arrived in the nick of time, have my deepest thanks, good stuff. Torev of the forest people, you're my prisoner now. You are at my mercy. You absolutely are at my mercy. And a bunch of prisoners here too. None that stand out. Someone else can take him. Someone else can take him. Let's pick up all the loot down here and back to Hobiar once more. To ransom off our, our new prisoner. It's en route, which is the only reason I'm doing it. It's en route. There's Arwa. Looks like her army has taken a bit of a... Potentially a bit of a beating. And as we are headed back to Hubiar, let's go ahead and check if we cannot get... Atis down here. Oh, it's not. Where, where are you, Atis? Still holding at Chaikan now. Okay. Okay. Over to Hubiar. Looks like stuff's arriving over here, so that's promising. Uh, let's go ahead and manage... Town, sorry. Man, it managed town. There we go. Really blind to it earlier. Food is still a bit of an issue, but hopefully that'll flip around. Hopefully it'll flip around. Um, anyway, I was looking at the ransom broker. Tavern district, pick up the armed trader, choose prisoners to be ransomed. Get our troops. Or of the forest people. Uh, not a bad bit of money. Something. Done. I wonder if I hold on to them for longer, if I can ransom them for more, actually. I believe we're too tired to smith right now, right? For the most part. Oh, the surgeon can smith a little bit. Not worth it right now, though. Let's be real. Do it in bulk when we do it. But for now, let's go ahead and move on. I think I could go to the keep, manage garrison, drop off the newly picked up uh, armed trader. And you as well, actually. Let's leave you behind. Sturgeon soldier, you too. The hillman as well, sure. Bit of leveling up again from that recent battle. Mind if I do. Mercenary crossbows, sure, leave them behind as well. 
level you up over here. You two. That's good. Um, a better garrison, I think. 68 defenders. It's not a lot. It's not significant. I saw Attis and I was like, no, don't tell me my Attis died. No, it's Attis of Sahel. Somebody else. Oof. <laughs> I cannot take another loss right now. Come on, game. Alright, moving on though. I think we're okay. Our army, this is it, 595. We should maybe get somebody else to join us as well. Eric is not nearly strong enough to be a worthwhile addition to the army. May pick up some recruits instead. We want to make sure that recruits are being picked up. We want to make sure that uh, Lanak Hen is raided by army led by Arkor of the Northern Empire. Are you kidding me? The hell is raided by Adhan's party of the Shikas. Man, why you got to raid? Uh, but yeah, we want to make sure that we are picking up recruits and training them as well. Like picking up low tier recruits and training them for the future. Uh, we, 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 we need them, right? We do need them. Over to Sahel Castle. Belongs to Banu Habab. Banu Habab is led by Karith. Oh, well, this will be a fun one to take. This will be a fun one to take, won't it? Check up on our party. Anybody leveling up? Or prisoners willing to join us? Looks like prisoners. Go ahead. Go ahead. Excellent. Excellent. Done. And who is up for an upgrade? I am. My athletics. Form-fitting armor decreases armor weight by 30%. Fury, while on foot, your weapon handling is increased by 10%. You know what? Let's go with form-fitting armor. Fitting of a sultan, I think. Uh, to have your armor, like, built specifically to you and stuff. And beyond that, it should help our movement speed and stuff as well, reducing the weight of what we're carrying. So sure, form-fitting armor it is. And the stewardship, I still have to check. One day I will. One day I will. Over to Sahel Castle, though. Good opportunity here, I think. 248 defenders. Let's do it. Come on, Kareth. Remember that time you didn't let me enter a castle? While I was in danger? Where are you? Remember that time? Besiege the castle. Now you'll never enter your own castle. Ever again. Is that? Oh, I was so hoping that was Kareth himself. I got a couple of people flying around over here, like vultures. There will be bodies after this, of course. There will be some. Gotta keep an eye on circumstances and gotta keep an eye out for uh, a impending Kuzate aggression as well. Now, this won't be a problem at all. Most of the soldiers here are part of the militia, so this really won't be a problem at all. Unless a massive army or something comes our way again, you know, like something ridiculous. Everyone continues to improve as well. Man, I'm so glad. Again, thank you for pointing out the whole party uh, assignment thing. Uh, like, party role assignment thing. That has come a long way in improving our... Uh, our people, our companions, and my brother. Suruk. Well, nothing I can do. Maybe he'll stick around over here. I doubt it, though. Look at all these numbers. Aldhan, maybe you should join me. Yeah, you know, let's pull Elbhan in here for his own for his own good. Might be taking a few risks out there. Not much else we can do apart from pulling him to us. There we go. Manan's army down over here, defending Kablab. Fair enough. You do what you have to. Come for you next. Move you to reserve. And again, I'm really not worried about taking this castle. But oh, it'll be so sweet. It'll be so sweet to do. And the, uh, the lake rats have really stuck around with us for a very long time. Oh, as I say that, one of them gets taken prisoner. Um, they've stuck around with us for a long time, and I do think letting them roam free has been the trick. Uh, because now they're able to make their money constantly, rather than drag them with us where they, you know, sometimes don't make money for long expanses of time at a time. Catrith, you coward. At the end of days, you will be a coward. You won't even, you won't even engage me as I literally stand outside your castle. Barter offer accepted for who? Karabos of the Eleptheroi, sure. Aw, oh, damn, I missed it. Too distracted by our ransom there. Not the end of the world, though. Not the end of the world. Our financial situation is definitely getting better faster than I'd initially anticipated. Oh my god, those catapults got wrecked. Oh, Esbeth Nahol of all places being raided by that army. Salt in the wound. Salt in the the wound. Oh, actually, on the topic of our openings and our intros, I just want to say I'm really glad to see the uh, reaction to last session's introduction. Many of you were asking, like, how did you do that? 
as Darum of the Asteroid gets ransomed for 5300. Um, it's because I thought it would be sweet to have a save set aside to say goodbye to uh, Alkyria. And I had a feeling, you know, some of you would come through with a, a nice tribute to her as well. But I kept the save set aside and a little bit of uh, movie magic, basically, to uh, <laughs> edit that sequence. I had a lot of fun making that one. I had a lot of, like, you know, like... It might be my favorite intro from a uh, from a uh, filmmaking perspective, especially in terms of like in my head, like in my head, Partia is looking away from Alkyria throughout that entire introduction, uh, which is you know kind of like oh they're close friends but they're not looking at each other, kind of weird. Um, and again, it's not like everybody has to read it the same way. That's what's fun about art is is, is it's interpretive. But in my head, it was like you know. They're standing side by side, but Partia isn't even looking at her. Uh, and then when she fades away, it's the idea is that, well, she was never really there to begin with. Partia was just stargazing as he often did with her, thinking about her. And so, yeah, to him it felt as though she was there, but in reality, she wasn't really there. That's why they weren't making eye contact. That's why they weren't looking at each other. I had a lot of fun with that one. So I was, I was really happy to see the reaction to that. I was really happy to see you all kind of respond to that. Uh, <laughs> makes makes all those little extra pieces of effort absolutely worth it. You know what else is worth it? Chasing after Sahel Castle and putting it under siege so we can take it. Rip it away from Kareth's grip. I, I feel hesitant to even call it a grip. It was like barely a grip. He barely held on to this thing. He didn't even try to keep it. He like walked around. He, he It seemed he was more interested in seeing if the siege was done so he could like, you know, walk through the valley again hiding from our new castle. Because he knows he's left his men to die here. He knows it. He knows it. He's an idiot, but not a fool. <laughs> Alright, let's dive in. Good bit, of, good bit of prisoners willing to join us as well over here. Let's lead the assault. I doubt we'll need any trebs or anything, but let's make sure we are properly equipped, though. Before I am the idiot and the fool. Executioner's axe. There we go. Done. Yeah, let's see. I was like, do I want to go in with the Merchant's Blade just to add, you know, insult to injury? Nah. Nah, we are not so petty. Let's lead the assault. Yeah, let's do it. We're petty, not so petty. <laughs> There's a limit to the pettiness. Go ahead and dive on in and get the job done over here. Again, like just accelerating our aggression. If the pleas of our people asks for a swift end to this war, what kind of a sultan would, be, would we be, really? If I get no land from our conversations to come, I should have uh, auto-deployed first. If I get no land from our conversations to come, so be it. Like we've said a couple of times, it's not about the land anymore. It's not about the holdings anymore. It really is about the uh, the numbers. Um, so hopefully, you know, pulling some of these moves will help make those numbers easier to come by, perhaps. It'll make peace easier to come by, at the very least. Begin the assault. And let's head to the right, I think. Let's head to the right. Come on, men. With me. A couple of archers up over there. Get the executioner's axe out. Yeah, I don't think the animation will ever get old. One of our trained archers got the first kill. Oh, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. First couple of kills are our... Another one. Up we go. We do have a couple of archers here. Alright, alright. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Off the horse move. <laughs> Stay low. Up top. Alright, here we go. Whoa. Can't believe he actually managed to get me. Down with you as well. Up over here. Down with... Oh. These massive swings, you'd expect to be causing more damage. Come on. Now. Come on. Now. There we go. Alright, let's dive on in. Provide some assistance to the, uh, the breach over there. So cool to watch like soldiers march to position and stuff like that. Down with you. What? How are we not? We increased our damage output. I think he's running away though. Are we causing less damage these days? Uh, maybe it's the latest uh, hot fix or something. There has been a new hot fix that uh, things feel a little different. But I could just be it could just be a placebo effect. It could just be my aim isn't as true as it once was. 
there was another intro that was written actually um as i always say it's like it's always hard to pick which one i'm going to go with but there was another one that was written that talked about how like you know partia might be contemplating his own mortality as well at this stage he's, he's getting old as well right he's getting old perhaps even a little bit clumsier in battle what happened to our did all of our soldiers die or did they go up this tower over here oh i think they went up the tower maybe that would make more sense than them dying can't possibly be taking that many losses. Got it, keep at it. Come on now. There we go. What else have we got? Oh, look at that. I love seeing the uh, javelin throwing animation as well. Alright, I think the job is mostly done over here. A couple of people left to retreat. Yeah, we're good. A couple of people up top over there. This man's like throwing his axes to try and hit that man running across. is not Call of Duty. But you are answering the call of duty. It's not how it's not how it works. Let's go. Let's go. Push men, push up the stairs. Or maybe from the other side as well. No need. War is war. The battle is done. The war soon too. But for now just this battle. Let your Sultan pass. No? Okay fine. I'll I'll celebrate with you in here. Fair enough. 39 lost, 59 wounded. Not all that bad. Not all that bad at all. And I don't think we took any uh, losses to our nobles either. Yeah, it looks like we're pretty good. Excellent. Good stuff. 63 leveled up as well, so that's promising. Again, right, like our army is also gaining more uh, younger soldiers, so we're likely to see the loss count go higher and higher. At least one of those losses wasn't me this time. 44. Yeah, man, are we really gonna... I don't know when we're next going to arrive at a city. Let somebody else take them. Let somebody else take them. Pick up all the loot, though. Done here. Relations decrease by 10. You don't say. Owner of Hubyar. I have, like, no support. Maybe I should give it to Adhan. Maybe I should give it to Adhan. Let's see. Hubyar. Where are you? 695. Oh, geez. That went down significantly. Versus the garrison of Hubyar is 301. Oh, wow. Okay. Yikes. Huh. Interesting. And that garrison cost is only going to go higher and higher, obviously. Very well. If we believe Aldhan is deserving of it, he has more support, then perhaps it should go to Aldhan. Owner of Ukba Castle, Asgar Kasira, and Hongard Castle. This will be a third city to add to his many. Kalatild. She only has the one castle, right? I could give her the city. She has a little less support. But I think Aldhan would understand. He's using his rank. He's using his rank to get that advantage. Oh, I don't know. That's what I mean, it's like listening to the council sometimes, because he's going to be, again, he's getting spread thin, you know? He's getting spread thin. We'll give it to Aldhan. It's what the people support, we'll give it to Aldhan. Kalatild, you'll have your day, fear not. Fear not, we already rewarded you with a castle. We'll reward you with more. War with Valandia isn't too far away either. Aldhan? Have it. I flip-flopped hard on that, but uh, the reality is that you know, at least he will be able to to add to the garrison. On which note, let's let Aldhan go free now. I think we've protected him from the dangers of the area well enough. And over at Sahel Castle, which I think Sahel Castle we might give to Kalatild. I think this we might give to Kalatild. I don't want it for myself. There's no reason to hold on to it. Uh, if we manage the castle, though, it is fairly decently upgraded. I'm not actually, no, it's not. Walls and training fields, perhaps, but nothing else has been upgraded. But are we really surprised? The loyalty is down, too. Are we really surprised with any of this? We all remember who was in charge of this castle before we came through. And for how long? He has held this for so long. And this is all he's done with it. Aerith. What a fool, really. Changes a trained militia at the very least. Razi is all that's left of the Asurai, isn't it? 
Razi, I think, belongs to Adas. Who knows if uh, he'll be willing to join us. The Asurai. Still have quite a few. Yeah. Wow. Wow. The last holds of the Asurai. War of Liberation is almost at an end. Razi is right here. How large could its garrison be? Does it really concern us? We take Razi. We take back the Asurai lands from the Kuzate as well. And revisit the circumstances thereafter. Peace with the Asurai. As you can see, and this was pointed out to me in the comments as well, over time, as we weaken them beyond a certain point, they can only afford so much in tribute. So this number can only go so high. Of course, that doesn't apply to us, apparently. <laughs> but nonetheless... Nonetheless, this war is almost done. Where is Unkid, though? Last seen near Hitania. Last seen near Hitania. Where is Hitania? I can't see it from this screen. I don't want to leave because it'll pop us out a fair bit. Well, we'll check on him next time. The thing is, I want to make sure that he is dead. I don't want the asteroid to survive like the Northern Empire has going around and harassing us from time to time, you know? But folks... Man, what a, what a penultimate moment, though. Taking Aerith's castle as one of the last stages of this war almost like it's been written, you know? <laughs> Jeez, I love it. I love it, and I hope you do as well. If you do, you know what to do. Let me know, folks, by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, and how I go about doing it. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. They'll keep us alive and running smoothly, and of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, I bid you farewell.